Uh, let me go to you, Jeff. Good day or bad day for the prosecution in this case? Well, every, every day is tough for the prosecution here. They've had very dramatic testimony with the daughters. Just think about that. You've got all these daughters testifying against their father. That's a very unusual thing. And when that happens, the jury listens. But all the time, we're waiting for today. You don't have a cause of death being homicide. Case over. There's no real way you can do it, it can, unless you have statements, like in the Drew Peterson case, sergeant in Bolingbrook, Illinois, who said he, he knew how to kill her and he could make it look like an accident. She died in a tub. Those kind of statements ended up convicting him. With, with, with things like that, you might get over the fact that the uh, uh, facts are ambiguous about the tub. But without it, it's an acquittal. Now, you mentioned you've got the daughters here basically all testifying against right. their own father. Take a listen to what Alexis Summers said today. Why were you seeking information as to your mother's death? because I believed my father killed her. Wow, wow, wow. When I heard that, I thought, oh my goodness, how does that even come in? Because you have one witness testifying as to the ultimate issue in the case, right? Did he commit this crime? How does that come in? Ariva? You know, Sonny, I was surprised that there weren't objections all over the place when the daughter started to make that statement. However, though, I think the jurors are still going to have to grapple with what caused this woman's death. And without that, even though this daughter and all of these kids are saying our dad did it, it's just not going to be enough. This is a sad, sad case. Lots of, you know, sex and, and betrayal, but nothing there pointing to murder. Well, let me go to my fellow former prosecutor over there. How does that testimony come in? I mean, I suppose if you're the government, you want it to come in, right? You want the daughter to say that, but it sure makes her look awfully biased, doesn't it? 